Hello and welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Today we want to talk about LexD custom images. In my video building an Ubuntu desktop and Docker, we learned how the Docker build command can build a custom Docker image. We have talked a lot about LexD containers being fast, efficient, and having near zero startup times. You can create your own custom templates for LexD containers, which are called LexD images. When you create a new LexD image with the LexC launch command, an image of your desired OS is downloaded from the LexD image server at the URL listed. We can create our own images with LexD and use them to create LexD container instances. Here we are on my lab server and I do a LexC list to list all the current containers I have. I've deleted my old containers from my previous videos because I wanted this to be a starting point. There is a command called LexC image list and it will list all of the images that have been downloaded. So the images that I have here, these three images, are images I've gotten from doing LexC launch commands. And this image here that has an alias name is a custom image that I created. And today we're going to learn how to create custom images. Let's start by creating a container. So this container is going to be an Ubuntu 2004 container I'm going to call it my server. It's using the default profile. I'm setting the security.privileged equal to true because that's a requirement of my server. I'm setting an upper memory limit of two gigabytes and up to 20% of CPU. And I'm saying set the boot.autostart flag equal to true. So it goes out to create that new server. It retrieves the image. And now the server is up and running. And you can see that if I say LexC list. Now, if we go back to the command LexC image list, you can see that I have one more image than I had previously. And that is this particular image here, which is an Ubuntu image. That's the new image that was downloaded. So every time you create a new container, you download a copy of a new up-to-date image. So let's just show you that we can delete that new image without having an effect on the container with the LexC image delete. And we, in, we include the fingerprint or the number for that image. And so there that image is deleted. If I do a LexC list or LexC image list again, you'll see it's missing. And if I do a LexC list, you can see that my new server is still up and running. Now, if we enter LexC exec my new server, enter the Bosch shell, now we're at a command prompt on my new server. Suppose we want to add some things to it. Well, I'll do an apt update first of all to make sure that it's up to date. There are two packages that can be upgraded, so I'm going to do an apt upgrade. And now that it's upgraded, let me add a few things that I consider helpful when I'm working with containers. Let's do an apt install curl. Since I use the curl command a lot, looks like the curl command is in this particular image. Let's do an apt install open ssh-server. And it looks like ssh-server is in this image. Let's do an apt install nano, because I like the nano editor. It looks like that's in this image. That is, this isn't always the case. A lot of times these programs are not in these images. Let's do an apt install net-tools. dash 
and that is one that installed. And let's do an apt install Apache 2 just to put a web server in there. And let's do an apt install on NeoFetch. Okay, let's also create a user account on this server. So I'm going to say add user Scott and I'll give Scott a password. And let's make Scott a pseudo user with user mod dash a capital G pseudo Scott. Okay, now let's exit out of the shell for that server and let's do a lex c stop my new server if I can spell right and let's do a lex c list we can see that the server is currently stopped Suppose I want to make an image of this. I can do Alexi publish my new server with an alias of my cool image and a description of Ubuntu 2004 with goodies. And so that will go off and create a new image with everything that I've installed previously, including my user account. Now that the image has been created, I can do a Lexi image list, and you can see that my cool image has the description Ubuntu 2004 with goodies. So now let's use that image to create a new container. Let's see, launch my cool image, my new server two, and the same command qualifiers that we used on my new server. So it's creating the image, but this time it's or creating the container, but this time it's using our new image that we created. Now that the new container is created, we do a Lexi list we can see that my new server is stopped and we can see that my new server 2 is running. So we could have both of them running. We can say let's see start my new server. They are independent servers. And you'll see if I do a let's see list, they do have two different addresses. So if I say let's see exec my new server two and enter the Bosch shell, you can see that this container is at root. If I say su over to user Scott, we're on user Scott. So my new server two is a container that was created with the image that has the Scott account in it, and it actually works. So let's go ahead and make a change to this container. Let's say touch test.txt, and that creates a test.txt file. And if we do an ls, you can see that test.txt is in the home directory of Scott. Now, and where if you do a PWD, you can see I'm at slash home slash Scott. All right, so let's exit out of here and let's exit out of root. And now we're back at my Lexd host. Let's say Lexc snapshot my new server two. And let's call this um, test snapshot. 
and this will take a snapshot of that container. Okay, now that the snapshot is completed, I can create a new image based upon that snapshot, and I do that with a C publish my new server to slash test dash snapshot and then alias my cool image to description equals added a file. <laughs> so that's creating a new image. But it's creating a new image, not from the, the image of my new server 2, but the snapshot of my, ser my new server 2. So if there were other snapshots, you could take and make images of those snapshots. So you can have an image of any point in time that you create a server at any time that you take a snapshot of it. So now that the image is finished being created, we can do a Lex C image list, and we'll see that we now have another custom image called My Cool Image 2, where I say added a file. So now I could, of course, create a new image. I'll do it very simple, or a new container. I'll do a Lexi launch my cool image two, and I'll call it my new server three and dash dash profile default dash C security dot privileged equals true since my server requires that it's creating the new LexD instance from my cool image 2 and you'll remember that my cool image 2 was actually the latest instance of my new server 2 and we created it from the snapshot. So if I say Lexi list, we can see we now have three servers. If I say Lexi exec, my new server three and enter the Bosch shell. And then we SU over to user Scott and we do an LS. There's the test.txt file. So if I exit back out and come all the way back to the LexD host, we can again do a LexC images or Lexi image list. There are my images and Lexi list, there are my containers. So another nice command you can do is Lexi image info my cool image to, and it gives you information about that image, when it was created, when it was uploaded, and even when it was last used. So, you can also export an image. And the advantage of exporting an image is that it 
does Alexi image export the name of your image? This is like exporting or making a backup of a container. But instead of making a backup of a container, we're making a backup of an image. And then you point to the path where you want the image to go. And it's a .tar.gz. So I'm not going to do that because I don't need an image of that particular container. But then once you do that, you can go copy that file to another system where LexD is running. And you can do a LexD image import my cool image dot tar dot gz and then give it some alias name so that when it shows up in your LexC image list, it has a name under the alias column. You can also delete an image with LexC image delete my cool image and Alexi image delete my cool image too. And now if I do a Lexi image list, you can see that I'm back to where I started. Let's do another Lexi image list. And when I started this video, I have this custom image called Ubuntu with Docker. So let me do a Lexi launch Ubuntu with Docker, create a container called test, and that will go off and create a new container called test, but with the Ubuntu with Docker image that I had created prior to the video. So now if I do a Lexi list, you can see that test is running. If I do a Lexi exec test, Bosch, we're inside of the test container. And if I do a Docker dash V, you can see that Docker is running inside of this container. So in summary, LexD images can be customized as a starting point or as an installed application template. LexD images can be used to create any number of new containers. LexD images can even be created from LexD snapshots. And LexD images can be exported and imported to other systems where they can be used as templates to create containers. Anyway, that's it for today, and thanks for listening. Please subscribe and like to the channel, and we'll see you next time.